death comes humour. You filming this? Yeah. Why? Well, it's important. This isn't part of it. It's important. Stop filming. Okay. The wonderful <laughs> Joe Bowie! <laughs> <laughs> Joe, short for Joseph, after the great Russian dictator Joseph Stalin. Yes. My mum asked where she knew my little sister Kim Jong. <laughs> so why were you in town, Joe? You know what? Because someone didn't want us in the house. Why are you asking that? Oh, forgot to be honest. So why should comedy? Kyle. Yeah. Papers. Oh. Shot there. That's, that's again, yeah. Again. That's. So right, I'm a laugh a minute comedian. <laughs> You've got uh, 56 seconds until your next joke. <laughs> Why should comedy promoters book you? Put my shoes. Smart. Impressive. Impressive. Smart. Look at the jeans. Casual. Recently got my braces removed. It's uh, funny, but I'm what they call in the uh, business a. Eh? Uh, what's, what's the word when it's like a triple threat but there's six things? Sex tuple. What? No, no, I think it's six lip. It's, it's six two four. No, I'll Google it. I'm pretty sure it's six lip. Well, I don't know the Chinese jokes. So, uh, Ni Yao, Ni Dou Min Jing Shi Chao. Normally kills in Beijing. But... <laughs> I got acting, no one's doubting that. Why does that always happen? Why is it always him? Why do you let him back in? I've got a um, singing, singing, singing songwriter, uh, pretty good at it as well. Yes, I may regret never admitting how I feel, but you are near the xylophone, and I'm a glockenspiel. It's better than a birthday present from a man named who, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm you've, uh speak it. you've committed from, the cardinal <laughs> sin of radio, which is to, to not, not be speak. able to speak <laughs> yeah. language. To a um, uh, better than. <laughs> what else do I do? Number five. Number five, uh, athletics. Athletics? Yeah. People call me, uh, Joe Broly Poly Boly. I can do a roly poly right now if you want. Do a roly poly. I want to see this. Film, I'm feeling right it. Here. Right here. It's not what I'm, I'll normally do. Do we really need this thing? Impressive form. That head quite a bit actually. Number six was um, I can drink a cup of tea pretty fast. It's all cut there. Seen that? I'm also into gangster rap, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Specifically rap battles, because they're a great way to win any argument. So like, what the fuck, I didn't eat the last biscuits. Because you're starting out called it quits. Because motherfucker, I'll destroy you. You're a beast because you eat when you're feeling blue. So I want an apology and that's all I'll take. Now oh, fuck, I'm fired, go and eat another cake. <laughs> that's all the arguments my mum had. <laughs> that's enough from me about how good I am. Let's hear from some of my friends. Yeah, we're doing an interview. Huh? We're doing an interview. Yeah, sorry, those dogs. So, Kyle, how long have you known Joe? Why are you speaking in third person? So, they don't know it's me. It make it, like, professional. They can hear your voice. Yeah, but I'll do, like, a cool tech. It doesn't come out, right? Okay. How long have you known Joe? Ages. Like, good, very informative, and do you think it's funny? No. You're not supposed to answer like that. You meant to say yes. You said answer honestly. Yeah, but, right. Okay, just don't, okay? Anymore? Okay. okay. Right, final question. Do you think promoters should book Joe? Yes.
Yes is the answer. Yes. Oh, good, thanks. Magicians, whether they're magic shift, um, are there any attractive women in? <laughs> Have some confidence, guys. Uh, uh, you'll do. I'll do. Yeah. 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 Just write your name, your address, your phone number, your email address. Are you desperate? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you desperate? Yeah. Just write, write your name as big as you can across the front. And uh, normally at this point in the show, I'd. What? <laughs> You're ruining my vibe. Decided? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that was aggressive. Let's carry on. <laughs> so normally at this point in the show, I'd, like, I'd give you a carton of milk. And I'd have a carton of milk. And I'd say, I've got milk, you've got milk, let's make milky babies. <laughs> but I don't have milk, so we won't do that. <laughs> so I had a premonition on meeting my future wife here tonight, and, um, and she wasn't here, so I had to be you. <laughs> so what I did was I, uh, I wrote a name on my arm. So this says Isabella. And that doesn't. <laughs> But if I was really magic, I could probably do this. I don't like um, <clears throat> red pepper, green pepper, orange pepper, chili, lettuce, onion, tomato, willy. <laughs> you might notice I didn't mind yellow pepper. <laughs> You're all wondering what was in hot. <laughs> Who would have guessed the red pepper? <laughs> would you have guessed the red pepper? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have guessed the red So recently, my friend was in a car accident. So he's left him paralyzed on the waist down. And I put some music on to lighten the mood. And the first song that came on was Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, which um, starts like, you know. <laughs> you know how it starts, you know. It starts like this. I don't know whether I feel worse than my friend thinking I was mocking him for a loud change of accent or I'm making up a friend for the purpose of a joke. <laughs> my little sister Kim Jong, who I mentioned her a bit earlier, uh, she likes music as well, although she's a bigger fan of Justin Bieber. She's got Bieber fever, or as the doctors insist on calling it, Down Syndrome. <laughs> Glasses, uh, but not prescription. <laughs> I'm not at all visually impaired. I am visually impaired. <laughs> right, do you all know the, um, the video showing up Vine with the seven second videos? Yeah. Yeah, my sex life is a lot like Vine, in that I don't have Vine. <laughs> a lot at school because people thought I was gay so it's around me in a circle and throw things at me like um, flour and eggs and sugar they call me a fairy cake <laughs> and I guess I guess you can't have your cake and eat it um, I don't know what I'm saying it means so. <laughs> so 
earlier I claimed I want to rap battle with my mum, and that's not true. Does anyone in here look a bit like me? Well, Candy, get yourself a bit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do, Candy. <laughs> So you're gonna play me, okay? Okay. Right, so what's your name? James. Joe. <laughs> Pop my mom. <laughs> Pop my mom. <laughs> no. Got a slightly wrinkly pepper feet at home. <laughs> you like red peppers. <laughs> She said to me, she said, uh, Joe, you can see that first. Good, then I said, Why have you got a drawing of a dog in the top hat? <laughs> she said, You think you're all cool just because you wear a hat? Well, I have news for you, son. You're just a massive twat. <laughs> Trying to disrespect me, you're nothing but vermin. You think you're funny, you're not, you're just a sad little virgin. I'll tell you something now, I'm going to be blunt. I own you, bitch, you came out of my cunt. <laughs> you're a massive prick and you have a small knob. In the end, I wish I just gave you that a blowjob. <laughs> Sit down, Kathy. <laughs> just try and then you bless him. <laughs> right, that's uh, almost it.